The most common types of energy used to power equipment are electrical, hydraulic, and pneumatic energy. Each one of them can exist in two states, active and stored. Active means that the energy is actually being used like electricity turning a motor. Stored means that the energy is waiting to be used, like the electric charge in a battery or capacitor. After you complete your initial lockout tagout procedures, you may need to dissipate energy that is still stored in the machine that you are working on. How you do this will depend on the type of system you're dealing with. There are a number of techniques you can use. For hydraulic or pneumatic equipment, you may have to adjust valves or install blinds in piping to stop fluid from moving within the system. Electrical systems may require grounding to drain off stored electricity. Various types of equipment may require you to release spring tension or dissipate extreme hot or cold temperatures as well. After getting rid of any residual energy, you may still have to block off parts of the machine that could move while you are working and install additional lockout tagout mechanisms to complete the lockout of the system. Once you have performed all of your lockout tagout and energy dissipation procedures, you should test the machine to make sure that it won't operate. For electrical systems, you may first want to use a voltmeter to double check that no electricity is flowing. Next, press all start buttons and throw all switches and levers that would normally be used to activate the equipment. After you have determined that your lockout procedures are working, return all of these switches to their off position. In most situations, work can then begin on the equipment you are servicing.